Yeah, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Judah Lacey here. Playing some kills on three on the Anwar Soldier map. And basically, I'm just making this short video to respond to all the people saying that Crisis Hill looks better than Killzone 3. I think I think these people never play Killzone 3. They're just going off of what they saw in the beta on a map that really wasn't optimized as the one in the game is. That's pre-beta code. I mean, what you gotta understand is um, the reason why Killzone 3 has Search the best graphics on console is because not only is it great Death to look at to the and the environments are epic, you know, very well made, but um, the reason why Crisis 2 just can't compete with Killzone 3 in graphics is because Killzone 3 has enormous maps, more players online, incredible sound, and it does all of this with no text to pop in. You're not gonna see any, uh, um, you know, one second you're running and out of the blue pops in a new barrel or a, a new box. You're not gonna see any freaking, um, you shoot people and you, you, when you shoot them in the snow, blood is on the snow. I mean, sure, it doesn't have uh, any, um, destructible environments, but you, know, you shoot a couple of barrels, they might explode, but other than that, it's pretty much uh, standard. But the, the the overall environment you get in Killzone 3 is just you just can't match it. Now Crisis does a good job on the multi, on the single player of that game. It looks pretty good. But when they, when you go to the multiplayer, it's a it's a hot mess. It, you, you can't compare it to a game like Killzone 3. Now I'm not saying Killzone 3 is a better game because I think Crisis 2 has uh, some better overall features. I mean, like, you get in the lobby and kill those and you try to mute somebody, it's going to take 30 minutes. And Crisis 2 just has a mute all button. It's little things like that that Crisis 2 does very well. But when it comes to graphics, it, it's not even, it's not even a close competition. You guys need to, like, wake up and smell the coffee, man. I'm playing Crisis 2 on the Lighthouse map, and every five steps is something new pops into my view, like texture popping. And you got invisibility. Crisis 2 invisibility is totally broken because the, the graphics you just can't pick them up like you can on a PC with 520p. On a 10, 720p television, you're not gonna pick up invisibility in Crisis. It's just it's a it's a PC game that was made for consoles. And Crytek, they did a good job, but they're still not in the same league on, on consoles because they're, they're, not, they're new to making games for consoles. Maybe in the next crisis, they'll be able to match the sound. I mean, come on, guys. Look at these graphics, man. This, this is amazing. And the sad part is, this map's probably like five times the size of the biggest map in Crisis 2. And there's no slowdown. I mean, it might be because of the dedicated servers and all, but still, come on, guys. So, I mean, if you guys hear someone say Crisis has better graphics, I don't care if it's on what system it is. You, I mean, just smash it. Just smash it. It's, it's just not even funny. But I will say this though, um, Killzone 3 sound is just second to none. Maybe Battlefield can match it, but I mean, Crisis, I'm running in the pier, I'm walking in the building and it's making splashing sounds. Come on, man. That's just, that's not even. It's not even mediocre sound. Even Homefront has better sound with dedicated servers. Alright, YouTube, let me know what you think, and uh, peace.